B streets are densely populated. An estimated 100,000 people live within walking distance, although in these streets new pathways are being built. These streets are not for your typical commuter. Fast approaching is the eminent gentrification. It's easy to tell because bicycle lanes are being laid everywhere. These pathways are not for avid cyclists residing in the area because the amateur enthusiast riding populace does not live here yet. The people with the close fitting matching bottoms and shirts, riding sunglasses, water bottles and shoes that actually clip in are far and few between. On these streets are the new big wheel freestyle bicycles with colorful spokes. Kids are quickly navigating around the compacted roads without helmets and knee pads. For now, these bike lanes are filled with groups of boys riding staggered, wheelie popping with no care for personal safety. For now, there's no Whole Foods, only Teddy's corner grocery store. These streets are landmarks. White Plains Road is recognizable. Boston Post Road is foundational, while 233rd and Gun Hill serve as de facto borders. 233rd Street is a site of a racial divide, a true other side of the tracks experience. Two trains run parallel to one another. The left train is the posh, cushioned seating called the Metro North that primarily transports residents from suburbia to the heart of Manhattan. The fare is three times the cost of the traditional New York City train system that's to the left. No cushions on this train ride, though. Rather ample people and a myriad of experiences. Some call it a variety show commute. On the western side of the track lies a historic Irish Catholic community that has remained virtually untouched over the years. On the other side of the tracks is a predominantly Afro-American, Afro-Caribbean population, with a rising Latino community as well as a fast-growing West African Muslim contingency. Over the last 20 years, these streets have seen an increase in multifamily residences. Radio personalities encourage residents to hold on to their properties because house prices are back on the rise. No matter what, the DJ says, keep your home. We have people right here who can help you refinance. In these streets, the smell of Caribbean cuisine invades your personal space and reminds you of your own hunger. The ever-present car honking is symbolic of a fast-paced reality. Bus drivers navigate the streets as if they were handling a nimble sports car. Friends and associates hail each other through car windows, greeting their compatriots with laughter, only to zip off after a promise to meet you soon. Music reverberates throughout the landscape in a number of ways. Street soldiers move briskly with Apple AirPods in their ears or with noise-canceling Beats by Dre headphones, singing unobstructed to their tune of choice. We're invited to an a cappella performance without need of neither recognition nor applause. Gospel music competes with rap music. Reggae music seems to solicit the loudest speaker of all the genres. These streets are historically and contemporarily deeply musical. Woodlawn Cemetery is the burial ground of many late jazz greats. From Duke Ellington to Miles Davis, the legacy is evident. The late Elmo Hope's sibling is an old church mother who tells stories of Thelonious Monk and others coming to her house early for breakfast after playing the circuits in Harlem. Even the Afro-Latina star Celia Cruz's headstone perches high in this Bronx burial ground. Rightfully so, hip-hop is on full display. Churches line the streets. On White Plains Road between Gun Hill and 241st, there are an estimated 50 churches amidst these 26 blocks. The names of these houses of worship are long and robust, making known to passers-by service times, prayer meetings, Bible studies, and nights for deliverance. Is a street formula really probably an expectation? Church, restaurant, dollar store, beauty supply, people. Funeral homes and directors are staples in these streets. There are three cornerstones, Randy's, Eternity, and McCall's. Truth be told, we've heard it all and seen it all. The 47th Precinct is prominent and cannot be missed, and the PSA 8 beat cops are seen more and more. This station lies in the heart of Edenwood, one of New York City's largest public housing complexes, a real city unto itself. Edenwall faces real challenges, and it's a place of deep struggle, but if you look closely, you'll quickly begin to see God's abundant voice. These streets are for the young and for the elderly, for the new and for the old haves and the have-nots. These are our streets. As we consider 
the dynamics that create this amazing community. We as a church are prepared to listen, to evaluate, to preempt, and respond to the needs of people in the Bronx and the world to the glory of God. Happy birthday, Bronx Bethany. 55 years and still growing strong, baby.